Okay, um... I definitely need to be attacking that guy. And I'll use the horn to give me some more... Morale or willpower. Hold on, what ability do you have? Whoops. Oh, you've only got Stonewall. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's get you to move to there. And I can then kill you. Which is nice. Then I'll get you to move to there. I've got bring the pain. Or battering ram. I'm actually gonna battering ram you. Oops, no, no. Um, you don't have any area of effect abilities. Added strength and armor to target and adjacent enemies. Yeah, there's no adjacent enemies, unfortunately. So... Let's go there. Who is going now? That's you. You can kill him. They won't be adjacent, annoyingly, so that's not going to help me there. Oh, bugger. I forgot she they go down one health every turn, don't they? That's annoying. Let's kill that dude. And then I can get rid of you. There we go. Oh man, another one. Flip. Um, I'm gonna have to replace all of them. How can I bring her back in though? She went down, didn't she? Okay, all of these guys need to go out. If I bring them back in now, do they still have the poison? Oh, they don't. I could have just chucked them out and brought them back in. Oh, well, that's something to consider for next turn. Or next time. about you? Are you full strength? You are? Okay, I need to keep everyone away from that guy. Did 
tell you the truth. Ah, okay. Um... In that instance, I might want you back instead of you. Yeah, that seems better. I can summon another guy. I'm gonna have to sacrifice you because I can't have you spreading disease onto me. Oh no, they all got it back again. Oh, that's bull. Okay, no, they all get it back still. Oh, that's annoying. He reflected all that damage, which is... Which is very annoying. Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna use that. I am fine if he dies. He kind of has to die. What's this guy got? Skulker. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, no. He needs to die very quickly. What's Rain of Arrows do again? Stun an enemy who steps in it with a Rain of Arrows. Not really good for the situations we've got here at the moment. Let's break down that armor. The guard is already there. I don't want to go towards him. I don't particularly want to run anyone through either, though. No! No, you bastard. Can I push him away? We'll attack this hero on the next turn. And pushes enemy and punishes enemies for retaliating. I'm gonna go malice then. You're gonna attack me next turn.
what's Sundering Impact do? Extra... Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, bugger. He's got... Okay, that's okay. And that's okay for you at the moment, too. Oh, you can't attack people next to you, though. Ooh. Um. Bonus armor break damage. So it would be good to have the armor break on you. Yeah, I'm going to change that up and put the armor break on you because of Thread the Needle. Okay, you don't need to move. So... Uh oh. Okay, that's bad, that's very bad. Um... We definitely need to move here. That's way too much armor. Holy hell. Oh my god, how have I not died yet? I need to get rid of this guy. Ah, oh, good. He went down. Oh, well that went down again though. Jipes. Okay, um... Let's go for some Malice. Then some Sundering Impact. I really need you to get out of there. You attempt to move towards us now. You are going to end up in a, a lot of trouble. Slowly going down. Nope, he decides to not. Okay. What was that? What does he have? Shockwave does armor break damage. Hot ash. Okay, they didn't actually... Yeah, let's... Oh, protected? What? Protects from strength greater than one. Protects from death. That 
There we go. Okay, so you get protected from death once. <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, that was, uh... Interesting. That multiple battles with that disease, that can be nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yes, I got injured. Alette got injured. Okay. Got a nice amount of renown, which is good for leveling up your uh, characters. You pull back from the breach in the wall as clansmen and guards rush to hold it. Sweat rolls down your face. You drew the you knew the dredge would eventually become a problem, but the re the reality of it is worse. You need a plan. Uh-oh. Trigivi cuts you off as you rush frantically to find your clansman. Hero, I just imagined you'd come this way. Then you did. I could tell by your face it was you. Trigivi, what is it? This is a poor time to chat. Oh, don't worry. I got nothing to say. Okay, then. Help me find... I do have a question though. Quickly, what's your question? Have you seen the moon? The moon? Trigivi, there are dredge destroying the walls right now. No, that's a sunder. The dredge is just walking right through. I'm definitely going to need my luck. Have you seen it? Are you talking about your moon necklace, Trigivi? Just speak clearly. What's clear is that the sun never brought anyone luck. What the hell is he talking about? Clear as a mug of mead. Do you drink? I could certainly use one right now. Now you're making sense. Mead solves all sorts of problems. Big old burly barrels of mead solving delicious problems. The only problem it can't solve is, once you've drank it, it's gone. Profound. Come on, help us fight and we'll share around. So, can I ask my question now? You've asked three or four already. Why stop now? <laughs> Are we already dead? You sigh, defeated by Trig Trigvi's line of questioning. If so, I'm going to rest my feet. They say walk in another man's shoes, but what if they don't fit? These sure don't, and they're my shoes. It's just an expression. Oh, like do the right thing, especially if it gets you killed. That's definitely not right. It definitely is. I've been told that one a few times. I'm not sure you understand what's happening here. I do, actually. I know that they say behind my back, not Trivigi's handsome, not Trigavi's brave. Those are the words I say to myself. Someone should say them. I know that something's wrong with me. I just can't see through the dark and the fog sometimes in my head. That's why I carried around a moon. Do you know what I mean? I think so. Ha, liar. I don't even know what I mean. But I'm happy you finally answered my question. Oh, look at that. My necklace was right here the whole time. Bloody hell. Ha, looks different than I remember. Must be my imagination. Now let's go stab some dogs to death. Dredge, Trigavi. Dredge. If we have time. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this guy? Oh, man. That's some retarded questions. Okay, again, the black anchor crashes through the wall above your head, stopping in mid-air before flinging back, shredding the wood. What in the depths, you shout? Grim tidings, replies Aleo, ushering you toward the rest of the caravan. I've heard stories of a sunder called Ruin who could do such things. It tore down the fortresses of old Val Kings. Oddleaf stops. She says, It pulls that anchor thing back towards itself? then takes off at full sprint toward where the Vala gathered. Come with me, she shouts. Okay, so who is down? Okay, one day, one day. I don't need to rest for that at the moment. Do we have any trinkets we may want to buy? Hmm. 
30% dodge armor, 30% dodge strength. That could be good. Diverting armor and dodging strength. Divert armor, dodge strength. One resist, one armor. Plus one to adjacent allies and self, plus one armor. So that's one will per turn and three to will talents. Let's go have a look. Does he have a good trinket? Um, who was it? Petrus. What's your current one? Extra aggro. Armor and resist. That might be good for you, buffing up everybody around you. Plus one armor to adjacent allies and self. Oh, hold on. Plus two move, plus two strength resist, plus three break. I'm going to wait. Let's go down and see what's happening. When you catch up to Oddleaf, she's already mid-argument with Hakon and Fasolt. For this to work, we need to cooperate. Slow down. Stop shouting at me, woman. You've been around them too long, Hakon. Why are you even listening to this? Gods, you're all starting to sound like Rugger. Don't you get it? We either work together or we die. Um, hear her out. She's earned that much. She expects the Vile to be her beast of burden. I'm not asking anyone to lower themselves. Just work to our strengths. Look, Ruin's shredding the walls with some kind of thrown anchor. We can't reach him from here. It made me think of something Ruger said. Everything you throw at me comes back twice as hard. If the Val gathered every oil barrel we can find in Arborung and bring them here, we can wrap them up in netting. The next time Ruin hurls its anchor into the wall, Horseborn race along the top and drop the netting around it, and Ruin pulls the barrels back onto herself. Herself? Ruin is Razor's sister. Ask Yungava about it if we all survive this. Yursa and the other archers can organize a volley of flaming arrows down on her and boom. Will that be enough? I don't know, but it beats standing here measuring our loyalties. Sounds to me like a lot of things ready to go wrong. The Vile are not great lovers of fire, if you've forgotten. Why haul barrels when we could meet the Sunder on the field of battle? Would Jor Jorunda have lowered himself like this in the Great Wars? I won't lie, the battlefield calls to me. Why are you Val so obsessed with ru rushing off to battle? <laughs> Ever since Fasolt showed up here, or showed up, you've been acting like you've got a death wish, Hacken. Bah, this one. You think we are just large men with simple minds. I've been alive for hundreds of years. You rush around fearing for your short lives like babies calling for their mothers. How we live is more important than how long. And you destroy our Fane Bridge. Then act like it's nothing, like you did us a favor, you short-sighted, arrogant. Fasolt is a poor diplomat, but he's not wrong. Einatoft, Einatoft was the last evidence of our existence. That bridge should have outlived the Vile who made it. I do not want to eke out a few weeks, a few more days, carrying behind a wall. I do not want to carry barrels when I could die with a blade in my hand. We're the last of our kind. We are Vile. Um, just do us this favor and you'll have your fight, I promise. Hakon grunts, coming down from his battle cry. If there's a chance to turn the odds in our favor, you used to be harder than steel, Hakon. Now you turn into a lapdog when they ask you to beg. Watch your tone. Things change, Fasolt. I never asked to lead the Vile. Now I have to think of more than myself. 
Don't worry then, Hakon. Let me give you a few less vile to lead. Fassalt leaves in a violent mood, yelling obscenities. Always had a temper, he did. Is he really turning his back on you like this? He'll come around, eventually, hopefully. I'll miss his vile in the coming battle, though. The rest of us will gather your barrels, but don't get comfortable giving me orders. And whatever you do, don't let that fence of toothpicks fall before I'm back. Oh, God. Ah, oh, all the vile left us. Oh, crap. Oh, and all the vile left us there, too. This is gonna be... Bad. Now you're back. Okay, good. Oh, every time I do that, a day goes past. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I need to stop checking that. Okay, every time you do something, time keeps progressing. I didn't realize that at all. Uh-oh. Scathatch gallops to you, breathing hard, gesturing quickly. You gather that dredge are assaulting from the front gates all the way down to the water's edge. The Sunder is just going to brute force the wall, Oddleaf says. Topple the whole thing, and this will become a killing field. Bad news from our clansmen, Leo adds. Many dead or missing. Some to dredge, others to bedlam. Could have been worse, but it's all going wrong since the Sunder showed up. Oh no. Terrified villagers scream at the sight of dredge breaching the wall and mobs of people crush together trying to escape in any direction they can. Gather anyone who can hold a weapon, you shout. We travel down the wall, pushing back the dredge until those barrels are ready. Oh my god. Look at all those people. They haven't got anywhere to run. We need to start patching these holes or there won't be anywhere safe in here. For now I suggest we focus on the dredge. Get ready you shout. Dredge continues to slip through gashes in the wall like dark blood from an oozing wound. Be smart about it and don't get reckless. We clear them out here then we move on to the next breach. Oh god, okay. Um... Well, I think a spearman would probably come in handy here. How do these guys go? We can pin them. That's what those two do. Then these guys can mule kick and trample. What do you do? You give us buffs, don't you? So the character exalts his target to feats of strength and heroism. His words buff an ally for one round, adding one damage for every two strength the enemy is above the target. The character delivers an insult so cutting and personal that the target is literally stunned. Move to the last place of the enemy initiative queue. Okay. Um. Let's see, what do we want to do? Can you get a promotion? Yes, let's promote you. I think that's definitely a good idea. What's this do? One will per turn, one armor per turn, one break resist, protects from death. Minus two strength though. 
But realistically, you weren't doing a heap of damage to start off with. You were mainly tanking for us. So... No, I think we do that. Make you more tanky. Yeah, let's do that. Extra strength, extra armor for the people around us. For you... Um... Let's give you some resistances, I think. Yep. Um... What should we give you? Plus 20% crit chance, plus 3 to all talents. Comes in low and attempts to skewer his target, attacking with a 20% chance to deal a critical strike. Oh, so yeah, adding extra crit to you guys would be good. Okay, so extra crit. Yes, let's do that. Extra crit for you. That seems good. Um, I need a let to be handling the extra break. And then I'm going to get you, I think, yeah, to handle the gold wasp. Plus three will, plus three move. No, I'll get someone else to handle the gold wasp. Uh, I'm gonna need more front line. Realistically. Okay, you can get a so one point of strength dot on hit. Plus one damage on consecutive attacks, plus one will on kill, plus one will, plus one will regen. Plus two break, I think we should add that to Alette. Minus one armor, plus ten percent crit per adjacent enemy. No. With no adjacent allies. And never miss with no adjacent allies. Plus two strength, plus one armor. Maybe less aggro, an extra move. Yeah, let's give you the Whisperer. And we'll finish off... Yep, 
It'd be nice if this told us what puncture was. You can actually do to an enemy's armor. I can't add any more to that. I can finish that off though, so let's do that. Um, what's the thing you've got? Plus one strength, plus one break. No, I was going to put that on to you. Yeah. I'm going to put that onto you instead, actually. And... Then let's get... Eggle. And you can... Oh, I was going to say you can put on the wasp, but that's not high enough level. Okay. I think we'll go like that for now. What can I put on you? Let's just chuck on a plus two strength on you. And I don't think I have much left. For now, let's chuck that one onto you. Sorry, actually. We'll chuck this one onto you. For now. And that one onto you. we have any more? We do. Let's just throw that onto you while we're there. Might as well have something on you if we're going to use you. Um, you're not going to be doing a whole heap of damage, that's for sure. I think you're more going to be using your abilities, so... Yeah, let's give you some ability to regen. And let's jump in with what we got. Okay, 